Hey guys, Lincoln here from Landfish TV. Something really cool is down at Geelong now. We now have a 440 meter long fishing pier. They may call it a walk, but it's a fishing pier. I went there yesterday morning for the first time and it was great. Yep, fish on. <laughs> what do we got? Little pinky. There we go, third cast down here. And we've got a little pinky. He's going to go straight back in. See you later. Just saw what looked like salmon surfacing over there. Birds went down, there was a couple of surface wolves. So we need that yellow boy. You cast in and nothing but i do have a fair bit of luck down here in geelong with salmon so never know what will happen Yep, oh there we go. Dropping near the poles is working. Nice little pinky. I'm smacking them on the little prototype two and a half inch. Thanks for coming. Hope they go bigger. See you buddy. There we have it. Second fish in, same method. Just sinking it all the way to the bottom. Dead sticking it down the bottom for a little bit. Really slow ones up like that. Let it sink down, wind up a bit. Then repeat the process all the way up. I do that about three times. And then I move on to the next pole. Um, when I get to the next pole, I'm just chucking one cast out like that direction. I'm trying for a flatting. And then I'm hitting up the pole and dropping down like that. Let's go catch some more. I don't know if you can see the little flashes, but there is like tons of bait fish in here. So, I actually reckon we are in a good chance with some salmon popping up. Which would be fantastic fun. Got to keep an eye out behind me because there's a massive splash just in here. I reckon that was a snook though. Snook pike, whatever you want to call them. Surely you can see all those flashes now.
Yep. <laughs> oh, you let go again. That was a very small one. Got so many poles to hit up. I don't want to spend too much time on one just because I got a little hit. Normally, if you've only got a small area and you've got a lot of time, if you get a little hit like that, you just keep going up and down that little area. And see if you can pick that fish up. There might even be a school down there. So, sometimes it does pay to keep hitting that one area up. Today, I want to fish the whole thing before I bed down and concentrate on any certain area. I just want to hit up every single one of these poles and flick out a cast every once in a while. See if I can pick something else up out wide. Yeah. There's a snag down there. Came out. That's good. Saves me having to retie. What the heck is that? Soft and squishy. Yep. Oh, huh. Yeah, it is a fish. <laughs> that feels like a flathead. Yeah, there we go. First little flatty down here. There we go. Flatty in. Bloody out. <laughs> well, I've just come to the first turn here and I've smacked two pinkies along there and just got a flatty here. So it's actually looking really, really good. It's great to be able to reach out and get to these areas. And these pylons here, great structure. So I've, I've switched over. I'm not casting out here at all anymore just doing long casts along the pylons, dribbling them back. And then when I get to a pylon, straight down, up like that, down, up like that, down. Do that like three or four times, then move on. It's um, really, really cool to have something like this so close to Melbourne. Yep. <laughs> so this is the first cast after that flathead. Caught the flathead just on this pole. I'm really liking this place. <laughs> Another pinky. <laughs> There we go, there's another keeper. Smacked it. <laughs> well, fish number four. Whoa. These are beautiful little fish. I love pinkies. They fight great on a little like yeah. I've got a one eighth jig head on there. Don't know if I said that already. But yeah, we've got a little one eighth there, so it's fluttering down quite nice. Gonna get this guy back in the water. Try for another one. See you later, bud. That's a bigger fish. <laughs> this 
fish is a bit more decent. That's the second one I caught between you and me. Just straight along. Whatever this is. This feels like a half decent fish, for sure. Oh no, he's just foul hooked. Getting overexcited. He's a bit better than the other ones. Oh, about the same size. Definitely keep up. Yeah. Well, that's one way to hook him. Thought he was a bigger fish the way he was fighting. He was fighting a bit weird. Next. Mm, he wanted it. You gonna come back? Come back and play. Come on. Dead sticking it, hoping he'd come and snap it up. Because maybe he thinks he's killed it. Come on. Couple little, little movements. No. It's gone a little bit quiet now. I haven't had a bite in like five casts. Pop a bit more scent on. See if that makes any sort of difference this morning. Oh, what's this one? UV Yabby. Stonks. Good thing about these lures as well, they really hold on to that scent because of the ribs. So you can get it in there and they hold on to it. Heaps better than any smooth type plastic that's out there. Um, so anything with ribs, you've got that ability to pretty much pack it full of scent if you want to. And it's gonna stay on board for a little while longer. Yep. <laughs> Just when I was about to move on, and Sammy give up on this side because I caught all the fish over there. Little pinky jumped on board. There we go. Now there's no problem keeping a feed of these pinkies if they're legal. Um, I'm not taking any today, but feel free to get your bag if you can. Because they taste pretty good. Especially at that just legal size as well. Slime. After that morning session yesterday, I went and did a few things and I went home. But I came back out again this morning, smashed it. <laughs> Get little hits then. Yep, fish on. <laughs> little hits turn into a little pinky. And how's that beautiful sunrise in the background? Fish on. What a cracking morning. There we go, nice one. How big are you? I actually want to keep a few today because my sister wants to feed his a little bit small. See you buddy. Just complaining that I came out yesterday and uh, didn't bring any fish home. So today, hopefully I catch a few bigger ones and they can go home for a dinner plate. Oh, that's a fish. I was distracted. I was just thinking about, oh, 
How am I going to fan out my cast here? I do like to hit it on the drop though. As you saw, that was just a cast straight out, which I wasn't doing yesterday. So, number two for the second morning down here, and the pinkies are playing the game. Figured a uh, dry bag with a strap would be a good bag to carry around. So if I catch a fish, I can fill her up in there. <laughs> I always get surprised when I hook a fish, even though I'm bloody fishing. See you later, bud. So it's about seven o'clock in the morning now. Uh, I am the only one out here at the moment. And this whole 440 meter long walkway, I'm the only one here. I think I'm up to three pinkies now. I've got one in the bag for my sister. But looking out a bit wider this morning. So I am trying to get a flatty. I didn't change over to the longer four inch like I said yesterday. Uh, I wanted to try out this other color. It's like a um, motor oily, motor oil with red speck in it sort of color. So I want to try that out this morning. Um, it seems to be doing well. I have got that in the four inch as well, but I already had the one eighth on this rod and I'm not too sure how well this rod will pass so much weight if I upgrade to like a one six and then put that four inch worm on it because um, it's a little bit lighter than the Katana's. So I haven't done it yet and I don't want to break it. Um, yeah, nice morning so far. Let's hope for some more fish. I want a couple of flathead. That's my goal for today, a couple of flathead. We'll see how we go. Okay, I did just say I wasn't gonna do it, but I've gone from the two and a half with the one eighth. <laughs> a uh, 2 0 quarter with a 4 inch worm on it. Let's see if this rod can handle it. I've never used something this heavy on this rod. I think it's rated to 7 grams max. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, she feels heavy on this rod. Oh, that's alright. See how long it takes me to break it. Yep. There we go. That's a flatty. Oh, maybe not. Now it's feeling, feeling pinkish. Those little head shakes, yeah, pinky for sure. <laughs> I reckon every time I guess it, I guess it wrong. This guy's coming home for dinner. Well, you put a flatty lure on. Catch a flatty. Yeah. Back. Get our uh, little dry bag as a fish bag.
safari Shake ahead of something dude Off it. Keep him as well. Not bad. Pinkies and I got two flatties in the bag. That's all yeah. right. Good size flatties. Oh, uh, one's about that big. Yeah, nice. The other one's about 30. That's all right. Yeah. Speed. So I put a bigger lure on now. Yeah. It's bloody four inch. So <laughs> hopefully anything that grabs it is just. Oh, there we go. It's flatty. There you go. Another keeper. That's a keeper. Well, I got to be 27 there. Yeah. Yeah, they do. I love them. I love using these little four inch worms. Yeah. He's about 33. Near Black Rock in the city, I've got up here. But um, since this opened up, I thought I'd come down and give it a go. Yeah, why not? It's been doing well. It was cool seeing that change in plastic. So going from the two and a half, going to the four inch and then instantly catching flathead. Uh, so I, I really love that worm for flathead. That four inch worm is just the bomb for flathead. But those little two and a halves were going really well along the pylons and along the edges and everything and smacking pinkies. Um, there's a bunch of people out there still now that are catching pinkies. Just remember this is a new fishing area so you want to keep it neat and tidy so they don't kick us off or anything like that. So if you bring something in, take it out and put it in the bin. But I've had enough for the day. I've lost my sunglasses and the sun's out like that. So that's it for me. I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoy watching Lamfish TV.